I'm here at Side & Stricker Novi Partners in Rocheport, Missouri with Chase Monty, the Assistant Sales Manager here. Today we're going to talk to you about farm safety. So Chase, first off, thanks for letting us come yeah. uh, to your store and, and doing this, but first off, what should we know about farm safety when it comes to tractors, lawn mowers, side-by-sides, and what should we know when we see this equipment on the road? So farm safety is huge being in agriculture. Uh, we see tragic accidents way too often. Um, the main thing is people on the road, they're trying to go way too fast. They're always in a hurry. Um, they just need to take a few more seconds to stay behind the tractor or the baler or combine, whatever it is, just to keep everybody safe around them. So we know that farm safety is crucial um, just to keep farmers safe. Um, but what's something that we can do on a tractor um, as far as farm safety goes? Um, on a tractor, so you always want to wear your seatbelt while you're operating the machine. Um, if it has a cab on it, um, you can have a passenger with you as long as there's a buddy seat. Um, have them in that buddy seat. Something we encourage at Farm Bureau is ROPS or rollover protection. Can you kind of explain what ROPS looks like and what it is? Yeah, so ROPS stands for rollover protection structures and a long time ago they didn't have it on tractors. As you can see this one behind us, it has the full cab um, with the rollover protection structure built into it. And basically in a rollover accident that keeps the operator safe as long as he's wearing his or her seatbelt. A lot of times when I see a tractor moving down the road, it has an orange triangle. What, mm -hmm. what is that? That orange triangle, it's a slow moving vehicle sign. And basically that's an alert to motorists behind you that this vehicle in front is slow moving and you need to slow down a little bit to avoid a collision. Great. What does the PTO shaft do on the tractor? So the PTO shaft, it stands for power takeoff shaft. And essentially that is the motor for the baler. That's what makes everything turn in there and makes the hay bale that you see on the side of the road every day. So I'm standing in between the tractor and the baler and right here, this is going to be your PTO shaft. This one does have a safety shield on it, but you still want to be very careful around it. Any loose clothing can get wrapped in there and wrap you up in this machine. You always want to make sure your hydraulic lines are away from the PTO shaft so it doesn't rip them off. And when you're hooking your hay baler up, you always want to make sure you have your safety chain intact. So in case of an accident, the baler will stay connected to the tractor. Hi, we are in a 331G compact track loader. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do when you get in to operate one of these machines is grab your seatbelt, attach it, and then put your roll bar down. This, this machine will not start unless this bar is down. And then you're going to put it on. There. There are two ways to stop it. One is with the parking brake. And then to turn the machine off, you click stop. Okay, Chase, so what's something that we should keep in mind when we're on a side-by-side, -side, like the skater behind us? So when you're on the skater behind us, you always want to have your seat belt on when you're moving. Um, these gators actually now, they only go to a certain speed if you don't have your seat belt on, so you won't even hardly move. The next thing, if it has a door, always fasten it. This one has net doors that you can fasten to keep you in better. Um, and that's kind of some basic safety about this gator. Okay, so should we ever put a child or a person in the bed of a gator? No, you should never put a child or a person in the bed of the gator. Always in the front. Always in the front with the seat belt on. Some people may not have a side-by-side -side and they may not have a tractor because they may not live on acreage, but almost everyone is going to have a lawnmower. So what are some safety things that we can keep in mind when we're mowing our lawns? Uh, one of the biggest safety things that we see quite a bit are kids riding on the lap of their parent while on the mower. That is not a good idea. Um, a good friend of mine, he actually fell off of his lawn mower when he was younger and his dad, it was a bad accident. Um, so that's one thing you really want to stay away from. Now lawn mowers, they're not street legal, right? So we have to make sure that we're keeping them off the roads and, and just... Correct. Lawn mowers are not street legal and you want to keep them in your lawn. With these hot sunny days, it's important to have eye protection, but it's also important to have eye protection in the case of working where there might be debris. These safety glasses are perfect because they won't shatter if they're hit. And if you're working on equipment that might have a high decibel point, hearing protection is always key as well. What are some tips that you have uh, for kids when they're around farms at grandma and grandpa's house, mom and dad's house, aunt and uncle's house? 
um, what's something that you would maybe tell a child just to make sure that they're safe? Yeah, absolutely. So just always be aware of your surroundings. Don't be running around uh, moving equipment. Don't ever do that. A lot of people, you see them jumping in and out of the tractor while it's moving. That's a big no-no. That can cause a lot of serious injuries and we don't want to see any of that. Um, but really, like I said, just be aware of your surroundings and that'll help keep you safe. Chase, do you have any other tips or tricks for um, parents and adults just to make sure that kids stay safe on the farm? Uh -huh. uh, so a big thing is chemical safety around the farm. Chemicals can be very dangerous when they're around really anybody. So to the parents out there, always try to keep them out of child's reach and always keep them in a marked container. Sometimes you'll see them in a Gatorade jug or something very random that a kid doesn't understand there's chemicals in that and that could go very badly. Um, so that's just another thing to look out for on the farm. In case of an emergency on a farm, what should parents and kids do? Um, in an emergency, so a big thing I know we do on our personal farm, we keep a first aid kit in our equipment just in case if there is an emergency, um, we have bandages or whatever we need right there. Uh, but something to the kids out there, always know your home address. If you ever have to call an ambulance, always know to dial 911 before you do anything else. Um, and just try and take care of the ones around you that need your attention. I know on our farm or in rural settings, hospitals are so far away. Mm -hmm. And so maybe an hour, maybe more. And so it's just really important that kids know how to get those help. Um, so yeah. those county volunteers can, can get to the farms as fast as possible. Yep, yep.